Whales hold their breath for a long time as they dive underwater to swim, forage for food and play. An orca can hold its breath for around 10 minutes before it needs to surface to take another breath. But other whales can last a lot longer. Sperm whales can hold their breath for around 90 minutes. And Cuvier's beaked whales have been recorded as diving for three hours before surfacing. Whales have some amazing adaptations which enable them to do this. Whales have blowholes at the top of the head. Tooth whales have one blowhole and baleen whales have two blowholes. The blowholes are situated at the top of the head which enables the whales to breathe with minimum effort as they don't have to lift their head out of the water. The blowholes lead to the trachea and ultimately the lungs and are surrounded by muscle so that they can be closed when the whale submerges, preventing water from entering the lungs. The whale has to actively contract the muscle to open the blowhole. So unlike us, they have to actually think about breathing. The trachea is not connected to the whale's throat as it is in humans, which means that the whales can't breathe through their mouth. It also means that whales can swallow their food underwater without the risk of taking water into their lungs. A whale's lungs are not particularly large. They take up about 3% of their body cavity, whilst ours take up 7%. But whales have the ability to renew 90% of the air in their lungs with each breath, whilst humans only exchange 10 to 15%. They need to be able to expel that much air in order to reduce their buoyancy to dive. They have some interesting adaptations to reduce the amount of oxygen that they use whilst diving. They shunt blood away from their extremities to the heart, brain and muscles, and they shut down digestion, kidney and liver function. They also lower their heart rate. A study on blue whales showed that at the lowest depths, its heart beat four to eight times a minute, with the lowest being only two minutes. Another study revealed that diving mammals also glide down into the gloomy depths rather than swim. Their empty lungs shrink due to the pressure, making them less buoyant, which enables them to sink. The oxygen that they extracted from the air they breathed in whilst on the surface is stored in their blood and muscles. Hemoglobin is a protein in your red blood cells, which carry oxygen around the body. Whales have a higher percentage of red blood cells than most mammals, and a high blood to body volume ratio. And more red blood cells and more blood means more hemoglobin, and so the ability to carry more oxygen. There is also a protein called myoglobin, which also carries oxygen. It is found in the skeletal muscle tissue and has a higher affinity for oxygen than hemoglobin. Whales have a lot of myoglobin. In fact, it is 10 times more concentrated in their muscles than in human muscles. Researchers have found a correlation between the concentrations of myoglobin and the time toothed whales are able to dive for. The greater the amount of myoglobin in their skeletal muscle, the longer they can remain submerged. Whales actually have so much myoglobin packed into their muscles that the protein should clump together, which would cause disease in the animal. But in yet another really cool adaptation, scientists have discovered that myoglobin is positively charged and since like charges repel each other, then they don't stick together. So a whale has many amazing adaptations which enable it to hold its breath for a very long time.